G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Saturday the 20th of October 2018 and the time here is 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Okay folks, sponsorship. This is totally awesome. As I said, I totally recommend their golden activated turmeric paste. It works, it heals, uh, it doesn't, I don't know if it heals, but it sure as hell gets rid of your joint pain, that much I know of. And I guess any other pain you may have. Um, I swear by this stuff, folks. I swear by it. Um, people, people keep writing to me, look up the top here. If you want to get in touch with them or whatever, talk to us. Um, etc you can talk to them and you can buy it online and they will send it to you okay this is where they're at <coughs> today Palm Beach Corumb Corumban Farmers Market throw a drive every Saturday 6 till 12 bundle farmers market Sunday 6 till 12 and then Wednesdays every Wednesday they're in the uh, Jam Powers Farmers Market in Queen Street in Brisbane okay Here is, right, before I do that, the meeting is organized. I've just got one final thing to do with the uh, local people as regards to getting the hall. Hopefully that should go through on Monday. Um, seems okay at the moment. If it changes, I'll let you know. But at the moment, it is booked for 12 o'clock, Saturday the 27th at Eleonora, Corrupt stroke Corumban. Okay, now I've made the effort. So it's now up to you guys to make the effort. I don't want to hear any bullshit about, oh, you know, my cat died, my daughter can't make it, blah, 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 blah. If one of you can't make it, one of you should come. Simple as that. I've lost track of how many times I've tried to do this, and in the end, I just get the shits and I go, okay, whoever shows up, shows up. That's it. Um, it's been proven in WA. We started this with nothing. We uh, ended up doing it and we ended up with 50 plus people consecutively, enough to have barbecues and dinners and caravan events and you know everything else. Um, so much so that if this actually kicks off, the people in Perth are so switched on that they will be over here in the east before anyone realizes that the shit's gonna hit the fan and they have somewhere to go to. I'll explain all that at the meeting, but the meeting is booked. If you wish, to come along to the meeting, send me an email, prepaussie at protonmail.com. I'll have the link in the description box. Um, it's as simple as that, folks. Get your ass there. You asked me to organize it, I organized it. It's for you. It's not for me. I can. I know what I'm doing, you know. Um, and I've also got a group of people as well. So this is more to build a community in the southwest Queensland region and northern New South Wales region. As I said, if people want to hold a meeting in Victoria, and many apologies to the woman who did write to me um, as regards to that, I haven't gotten back to her, but I can, if you guys organize a meeting in Adelaide, uh, Melbourne, wherever, I'll try and get there. Simple as that, just so I can show my face and help you guys, you know, build a community. That's what this is about. It's not about anything else except sharing information, building a community, you know, and obviously getting to know people. Um, <clears throat> so, let's have a look at where we're at. I should have also started off by saying this is weekly news wrap up number six. And I'm quite enjoying doing these. Okay, look, as I said before, I can show you every financial parameter going that tells me, or t will tell you that there is a massive problem. It's not gonna do anymore, folks. I can show you it now till the cows come home. I could, could have show, I've been showing you for a year anyway. What's the point? If you're new to this station, look at some of my older videos. I'm gonna show it to you today, but it's just to do a wrap up, really. The the collapse, for want of a better term, is accelerating. The debt level of the debt repayment level now of the US government is nearly nearly going to a trillion dollars a year. 
the debt repayment levels. You have Saudi Arabia pulling out of um, most deals with the US dollar. And this is a fact. Um, look, I don't care what anybody says. And I'm not trying to back the US dollar or anything here. Don't get me wrong. And this is not financial advice, by the way. This is just my general economic hack view of things. I don't care what anybody says. They can pull out and use Remimbi, use the Russian ruble, use bloody Venezuelan pesos, whatever the bloody hell they want to use. It's not going to matter a dot. Because when this collapses, and it's going to, none of that means anything. Absolutely nothing. It's irrelevant. Because when this collapses, they're all going to collapse. They will all go down to the base denominator of zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Sure, if you've got gold, you'd probably be better off or silver. But what benefit is it going to do to you? As a country, I mean, yeah, you'll have gold and silver, but you know, there's no point trading in it because no one else has got any. Before this all before this all goes tits up, there will be some form of military intervention somewhere. There has to be. There cannot be. Um, you guys probably haven't realized this, but yesterday, or was it Thursday? Thursday, Venezuela pulled out of the US dollar totally, even though they are absolutely destitute. They pulled out of the US dollar. They're not using the US dollar at all anymore. This is Venezuela. It's my belief that the US will invade Venezuela on the UN humanitarian grounds, but not using the UN, you know, like humanitarian grounds. Oh, we can't let this continue. It's becoming socially unacceptable. That's what Trump's going to say. They're not interested in Venezuela. They're only interested in the oil, etc. that's in Venezuela. Um, so what's this space? Um, right, let's go through some of the uh, technicalities. This is, this is extremely interesting. And, and look, if you read any of the stuff down that side, they, they re, really do give a negative outlook. Uh, Moody's Investment Service is downgraded on a Friday, October 19th. Moody's Sovereign Debt Credit Rating. Uh, sorry, Italy's credit rating. BAA3 from BAA2 and assigned a stable outlook. Uh, a weakening in Italy's fiscal strength with the government targeting higher budget deficits for the coming years than Moody's previously assumed. Two, negative implications for medium term growth. Well, you, you could possibly say there that, you know, you don't have to be Einstein to work that one out. The only growth, Italy's being punished by the Euro Eurozone at the moment. And because they've made tunes of, you know, we're not going to take the migrants, et cetera, et cetera. So they are being punished at the moment by the Euro. So, you know, they're going to keep going until they get to a point where they just go, no point being in this anymore. Fuck it, we'll leave. And then the whole world, one of these guys is going to go down soon, guys. One of them. I told you that before. Um, let's look at the other stuff here on the side. <clears throat> See, this is the other side of this. The yield on the 10-year government bond went up further to 3.752 on Friday, the highest since February. So this is all about government debt. Okay, so you don't really need to know any more than that. Uh, the one that I wanted here. Oh, it was down here, I think. Hang on a second. 
Yeah, this one here. U.S. existing home sales lowest since 2015. Now, this is an economy, in an economy, that is booming. So how can it be booming if house, price, if house sales are falling? Wouldn't it be the other way? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it be the other way? It should be the other way. More money in the economy, more things are up getting processed high volume velocity of money is high so house prices should be going up and house prices should be uh, house numbers should be rising but in actual fact it's reducing to 2015 levels so what does that tell you well that tells you that people are actually staying put rather renovate than uh, try and move up the ladder and that tells you that people are looking at people like me and saying well yeah this guy's right and there's a lot more people now reading between the lines and a lot more people saving money etc etc okay this is the australian business news page china's economy slows to levels not seen since the gfc well that's obviously going to happen folks because the Trump trade war is killing them, etc., etc. Now, there's a, a lot of things here that are extremely worrying um, in the business section. This week, um, here in Australia, the Roger David chain of stores just closed. The Max Brenner, this is all in this week. Uh, sorry, let's start at the beginning. Sears collapsed. Bankruptcy, one of the biggest stores in the world, can't compete anymore, collapsed. Um, Max Brenner here in Australia the other day, collapsed. Um, Roger David here in Australia, collapsed. And you might just think, well, some people might just say, well, that's just natural. That's just, you know, business cannon fodder sort of thing. Well, it's not. And the reason it's not is because... One, these people can't get any more loans to get money because the, the price of borrowing has gone up so much and they can't service their debt levels anymore. And two, the price of everything, <laughs> because of Amazon, etc., has gone down so low that they can't compete. It's just impossible for them to compete. So they're in a world of pain at the moment, folks, an absolute world of pain. It's getting worse by the day. The second one here makes me laugh. NAB boss finds Banking Royal Commission revelations confronting and upsetting. <laughs> uh, like he didn't know what was going on. You know, oh, really? We had, you know, 100,000 dead people in our accounts? What? We were overcharging people for their accounts? What? We were overcharging people on their mortgage rates? What? We were actually just giving people loans with no money? You know, just come on. These guys are clowns. Absolute clowns. It's ne it was never going to be... You, that's only one of them. You should just read the other ones. They're all hilarious, by the way. This is a story that should worry everybody. Yeah, this is, this is an extremely worrying um, article, folks. Basically, there is nothing that you are doing or that you're looking at that the government is not looking at. They are basically now watching everything, and I mean everything that you do. Um, it's... Got, it's become that closed down on your uh, whatever you're looking at and the worrying thing there is you think it might just be one agency it's 22 agencies in Australia so basically there's nothing absolutely nothing that you do that they don't know about phone calls texts emails 
credit card usage, where you buy your clothes, where you, everything, petrol, the whole lot. Okay, which raises another very, very important issue, petrol. I was talking to a mate of mine in New Zealand the other day, or from New Zealand, and he has he now has family members paying two dollars fifty, and in some places two dollars seventy a litre. I'm going to say that again. In New Zealand, there are people paying two dollars fifty and two dollars seventy a litre for unleaded. It's now become so bad that people are you know obviously putting off traveling etc because they can't afford to fill their cars up in the next two weeks i'm predicting that the petrol prices here will hit nearly two dollars a liter if you've got any common sense at all go and fill your cars up now keep them topped up reserve tanks if you got them or keep the reserve tank topped up uh, don't put additives in it as yet if you're going to keep the reserve tank. Give it a good six months if you keep the reserve tank full and then put some uh, preservatives and additives in it after six months. That's my recommendation. I'm not a mechanic. You can go and ask a mechanic, but I wouldn't be putting it in straight away. Um, you're looking at $2 a litre here. There's some shops I go past now, it's $1.70, $1.75. For unleaded diesel's a bit cheaper not much um, these prices are going to have a crippling impact on the Australian economy and inflation because these prices go up inflation goes up and then interest rates start chasing inflation so watch this space it's not good folks it's very 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 bad if you've got jerry cans at home go and even if you haven't got jerry cans go and buy some and stock up on, you only need five. I keep five, uh, six. I've got six that I keep totally topped up all the time. And it's not hard to do. You can find them on Gumtree for 10 bucks, etc., whatever. People just always getting rid of them. But when you get them, can I make a suggestion? Make sure you clean them out first. Okay? Find a good method for cleaning them out. Me, I just use soapy water, wash them out hung them out to dry for ages and then I'll, then I'll use them because uh, there's always shit and stuff in the bottom of them. Don't just get them, buy them, take them down the thing, fill them up and then put them in your car because you're going to have troubles then. Your cars. Here's another thing. Get your car serviced now. And I mean right now before everything starts going up. Keep a, go and buy a spare, go to super cheap, buy a spare filter, oil filter, uh, fuel filter, any other filters you've got in your car, go and buy them now. Air cleaner, so that you can do it yourself later. And oil, obviously. I always buy mine from Super Cheap. I buy the top of the range Penrite. Um, is it Penrite? Something like that, anyway. Can't remember offhand, but I buy the top of the range stuff for my car. Why? Because it's 20 years old and it needs to be looked after. So buy the top stuff. Don't buy shit. Don't go and buy home brand Coles. 50W, 10W, whatever the shit you call it, um, oil. Go and buy some decent stuff. Okay. Finally, these are all the people that are coming to the meeting so far. I have 50, I think it's up to 50 here. Uh, that's people uh, that are coming, that have said they're coming. To the meeting uh, and they're also bringing friends some of them oh, sorry so let's make this happen for Australia if there's anybody that's coming please bring a fold-up chair I'm not sure how many chairs there are in the hall I haven't really checked that out there should be enough but if there's not bring a fold-up chair so you can take it with you when you leave um, and if there's anybody who can video it for me that would be handy. I don't have a video cam. If anybody's prepared to videotape the whole thing so we can upload it so everyone can watch it, that would be great. Okay? All right, let's do the prayers. Okay, verse of the day. Take the light in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Very, very apt.
Okay, and as always, folks, we'll end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, folks. That's the end of weekly news wrap-up number six. Speak to you on Monday.